Passwords prevent people from accessing our computers, important websites and personal emails. In this interactive lesson, you'll step into the shoes of a cyber criminal and use computer code to attempt to crack a massive collection of passwords. The video streaming website Catflix has been attacked by a gang of cyber criminals. The gang have stolen the login details for 1 million customers and released them onto the web. Each line of the leaked file contains a customer's username, their email address, and a version of their password. So, how are passwords stored? Well, if a company wants to save your password, they shouldn't just save it into a file as plain text. That way, if someone had access to that file, they'd be able to just read everyone's passwords. In this example, before they save your password, they pass it through a hashing function. The hashing function takes the plain text password and turns it into a hash value that looks like this. It doesn't look like the original password anymore. It's that hashed version of the password that is stored. The best thing about using a hashing function is that it only works one way. Once something has been hashed, it's almost impossible to work out what the original word was. So when a user tries to log in to Catflix, they take the password that you've typed, they hash it, and then they compare it with the hash that they have stored for you. If those hashes match, then they let you in. So if a gang of cyber criminals has a collection of these hashed passwords, it's almost impossible to take those hashes and turn them back into the original passwords. But there is a weakness. Lots of people use weak passwords. That's passwords that are easy to guess. So we might guess that someone has used a simple password like football as their password. And there's a good chance that one of those 1 million users has done that. So we can just hash that word and try to find the hash in the list. Here it is. So now we know that John is using the password football. We've cracked it. Now it's your turn. You can write code to try and work out some of the passwords on the leaked list. Follow the instructions and let's see how many of these 1 million passwords you can crack. <laughs> 